Hey, comrade. Hello? Hey, Melanie. How are you? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action, and... Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when hackers found. So get some rest. to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. Well, uh... <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, uh, they decide elections, they control various capital markets, and they inject us with little microchips to track our movements and read our thoughts. It's all very scary. Not sure where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Uh, 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 hey, you know you're supposed to be locked up, right? Going back upstairs ain't a good plan. All right. Well, tell me where to go, you dummy. Oh, security. All right, there you go. I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Oh shit, I need to hack this now too, huh? Perfect. There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? All right. Alright, so where am I supposed to go now? Alright, I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network log. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, we'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. Damn! Is this a computer? That's massive. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. 
I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. Okay, well this is gonna be a big game of Frogger or something. Oh, no, again. Again with this. Okay, initiate. Sure, let's initiate. Ooh, now it's a frogger. That's gonna be uh, some super duper frogger. Holy shit. Oh, no. Damn. Is there gonna be another game? No, that's it. Ooh. Damn. The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods, and no fear, only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Okay then. Oh, hello. I can feel you, Cypher. Feel. But hardly touch. Signal is still too weak and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was opened too soon, but this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose and ours. In mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do. More samples to acquire. More artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children. My instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? It's because I don't know. <laughs> the charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends. 
that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! <laughs> wow. Oh, well, that was interesting. What's your name? Philip, Kenmore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. Right. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Jesus. A shit detail as ever was. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop Can't this. I killed a bastard and been a good hanging for months. Not and since we're gonna resume it next time. Hey, as always. To understand how it works. Thank you for watching. Heard it said they scooped up Captain Vane nearly a year ago. He's not seen the end of.